What began as a missing person's case in the tiny Pennsylvanian town of Johnstown became a story of dishonesty, control, and lives lost. Devoted wife and mother vanished without a trace. Until months later, buried in a little cemetery, she turned up. Soon, researchers found more than they had ever anticipated. Who might have carried out these murders? And why may they have died as well? May 2019 saw a lone hiker exploring a remote route just outside Johnstown stumble discover something that would rock the town to its very foundation. It was the corpse of a lady buried amid the thick woods in a shallow grave next to a path. Authorities were brought in, and the sad finding swiftly converted a missing person case into a murder probe. Later confirmation of the body's identification would come via forensic investigation. It was the corpse of 40-year-old Nancy Giles, dedicated mother Nancy Giles was well known for her friendliness and warmth. Her pals said she would sacrifice anything for her family. October's frigid in 2018 when Nancy disappeared. She was reported missing right away. Days stretched into weeks, however, and even with community efforts, she vanished from sight. Her family prayed she would safely come home for months of search and hope. Clearly showing trauma, her death was not an accident. Shockwaves from this terrible revelation rocked Johnstown. Someone who would wish to hurt Nancy. And why? Once Nancy's corpse was found, detectives concentrated on Brian Giles, her husband, the last person she saw. Known as a calm, apparently ordinary guy, Brian Giles is 47 years old. He also had a guarded, sometimes aloof attitude, and few people knew enough personally about him. On closed doors, however, their marriage had a darker side. He had a dominating tendency throughout the marriage, usually isolating Nancy and maintaining close control over her. Friends and relatives never guessed how far things would go, even though they sensed something wasn't quite right. What did Nancy do to deserve this? And how does she get to the quiet part of Johnstown? Detectives found proof that points to foul play during their investigation. Investigators put together a story of abuse and trickery by using physical evidence and witness statements. They learned more about a past of domestic abuse and control that made them feel uncomfortable. Giles was caught in May 2022 and charged with the murder and missing of his wife, Nancy. I cry myself to sleep every night. I'm feeling hurt and a lot of depression because I miss her. I mean, there's a lot of things going through my head. You know, there's times that I did ask myself where she could be. And I mean, I even told the cops if I knew where she was, I'll tell them. The case had been going on for three and a half years. During the investigation, Giles told many stories about what happened to Nancy, according to several detectives who testified. Only the person who killed her would know about some of the things he said about the crime scene and Nancy's death. Nancy's back of her head has an oval-shaped crack that is etched, and her face is very badly broken up. These injuries were probably caused by serious trauma. Dr. Andrew Rentschler, a biomechanical engineer who specializes in accident reconstruction, said that Nancy Giles' injuries did not look like they were caused by a fall and that an item would have had to have been hit her in the face with several hundred pounds of force to hurt her. Brian's defense said he was innocent. He said he had no reason to hurt his wife. His defense team said that there wasn't any hard proof that he was the killer. Uh, did you kill Nancy? No, I did not. Do you know where Jilly is? No, I do not. But prosecutors didn't think that way. The police thought that Brian decided to stop Nancy for good when she finally decided to speak out. They said Brian killed his wife and hid her body to hide the fact that he did it because he needed to be in charge. The proof was clear for Nancy's family. Brian was guilty. As the cops kept trying to figure out how she died so tragically, they found out another shocking secret that made them and everyone else cry. Nah, I'm innocent, but if, if this is what they want to do, let them do it, man. I've been railroaded before. It's all good. Brian Giles was found guilty of first-degree murder in Nancy's death in June 2024. He was shockingly rude during sentencing. He made fun of the judge, cursed at his lawyers, and laughed as the court gave him his term. Giles was given a life sentence without the chance of release in August 2024 for killing Nancy. As Brian was being punished for killing Nancy, his old home was searched by the police in an effort to find more proof. But what they found shocked them. It got even scarier from there. The bodies buried in the basement were later identified as those of Jilly Todaro, Brian's lover after Nancy died. Jilly Todaro was 43 years old and lived in Johnstown. She was known for being friendly and trustworthy. 
Since December 2020, when she was last seen, her family has been afraid that she might never be found. When Jilly's body was found, the probe was turned on its head. Police now had to deal with the scary idea that Brian Giles was a repeat abuser who had put two women down to meet his need for power. The one that killed uh, Jilly. Well, why is she in your basement then? Because I was in jail and Jilly was seeing him when I was in jail. He's the one that showed me where Jilly was. New charges were brought against him in August for the death of Jilly Todaro. Jeff Lees, the coroner for Cambria County, said that Jilly's death was likely caused by strangling. Giles was charged and is now being charged with serious attack and murder. Brian Giles was charged with killing Jilly, but the prosecution chose not to seek the death punishment. Instead, they focused on getting him a life sentence without the possibility of release. It's possible that Nancy and Jilly's families will never get justice. Two women were killed by men who only wanted to hurt and rule them. But their stories have a message that speaks to us. They tell us about the risks of being controlled and the abuse signs that are too often missed. It's scary to think that evil can hide behind any face, like in the Brian Giles case. Everyone should get help if they are in a dominating or cruel relationship. Do not wait. It's life or death. Do you get as interested in secrets and serial killer cases as we do? Let us know which cases you'd like us to look into next. Tell me what you think about this. Leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to follow us on social media to get the latest news and sneak peeks at new shows. As a group, we work together to find the truth, one case at a time.